Okay, so I've been uh, thinking a lot lately just how different people are. And I, I haven't noticed, you know, how different people are until recently. <laughs> That's one of my pearls of wisdom, write that down. So, um, my mom and I, we're similar in lots of ways. We, we share humor and, uh, and share lots of different things, different uh, interests. But we're different in, in one key area, and that's with the, um, the types of things we like to talk about in public. And my mom, I started to realize, really loves to talk about private things in public places. It's, and I don't know if it's Tourette's, and I don't, I don't know quite what it is, but it's, it's, it's come to be like this standing joke we have. So, let's go through some examples. Um, we, we had some recent medical issues, you know, that happened, had to do with some discrete body parts, you know, <laughs> and even, even that is a sugar-coated way to say what we've been throwing around at Walgreens, our breasts, our itchy breasts, you know, Tamara, my breasts are itching, you're yours, did you get the, the cream, you know, and I'm thinking, whoa, you know, it's different from how I might, might talk about that subject. <laughs> It's like, oh, like, I know we're walking into the mall. What are we about to talk about? Something fresh. You know? And so it's just my brain kind of scans for, like, what, what's happened lately, you know? <laughs> my, my period, is that going to come up? You know, like, uh, what, what are we talking about? And so uh, it all started. One of, the, one of the strong memories is we were in Breckenridge for a family vacation, and we stopped by the store. You know, it's fun. We were doing some shopping, and um, I got... Um, wasn't my period. <laughs> um, and I got some light all. And my mom got some frames. And my dad got, you know, a pair of slippers. And we got a couple um, albums and some different things. And that store from that day forth um, became the place where Tamara bought light all. Okay? It wasn't the store in the center of the town. It wasn't the village uh, shop. It, it wasn't anything like that. It was the place where Tamara bought light all. And so, uh, <laughs> and I would find also we started referring to that store a lot when like large groups of guys would be walking toward us and we're having a nice lunch outside and then you know five guys would start walking toward us and she'd be like hey later we'll get some ice cream and we should meet at that place yesterday where Tamara bought my doll we should meet at that that should be our meeting place today and, and I'm, we're like okay you know we'll do it it's like yeah because then we'll you know we'll, maybe we'll go for a walk after we meet at that place where Tamara bought my doll and we can, we can get excited from there you know <laughs> so, okay so so that's a, a fun example. And then um, another one, uh, it's been coming up when we go to swimming at the pool. And um, we tried a new pool lately. It's not as crowded as the other pool, which at first I thought was great. I'm like, Whew. not a lot of people to hear these topics, right? I'm like, yes, thank God. You know, some, there's some uh, privacy. But then I realized, mm -mm, because only a couple people whose voice is going to carry my mom's voice and they're going to hear what we're talking about. So uh, I, I try to strategically um, position us from like far away from other lawn chairs, you know, and so my mom say, well, where do you want to sit today, Tamara? And I'll say, well, what are we going to talk about today, mom? Where do we need to sit? So I'll sit in corners and things and um, but it'll still come up. And so it's just, it's the more... The less people there are, I thought it would be better, but I'm not sure. <laughs> the other day we were at the pool, in fact, and my dad, um, who, talking about how personalities are different, he's, he's different from my mom. He's uh, um, just different, but he's, he's real detailed, too. He, he likes to write in his little books and write uh, details about the day and stuff and keep track of it. And he developed this new system that he was playing with using, like, numbers, um, like a code kind of for, like, what matches what, like... Um, my mom would be like number 16, and so anything that had to, had to do with my mom would be a 16, um, point seven point, you know, whatever. So first I suggested um, changing the number system and using letters. So if it had to do with my mom, it could start with an M, M for Marilyn, M for mom. And then, and then he liked that idea. He's like, oh great, you know, that helps. It's easy to remember letters and stuff. And then um, I started realizing, you know, I can incorporate this own system for me and my own, you know, like, illnesses that have started to break out from, like, this discussion of things in public places. So, so I've, I have a couple abbreviations. I have um, <laughs> the PTIP induced rash, which is the public or private topic in public induced rash. Okay? And then I have the um, <laughs> FSIR, which is the family stress induced rash. You know, and <laughs> all different types, little variations of which it, 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 it helps have that system to categorize them all, you know, because I get confused. That's nice. Nice and 
water. How do you guys do this, you know? <laughs> um, let's see. Do I have any more fun examples of that? We've uh, got a lot of these. Mm -mm. Oh, one other way. We're a little bit different. Is um, I might tend to, I don't know, worry about other people's feelings. Like, a, like maybe too much sometimes, you know? Like, worry about, you know, not uh, saying something too harshly. You want to sugarcoat it a little bit so, it, you know, soften the blow a little. My mom doesn't soften the blow so much. It's <laughs> like, you know, kind of strengthen, strength training before the blow. Right? <laughs> doesn't soften them. So that's one difference. And, um, and it comes up, I can't help it. It's like we can't help our personalities. Even if we're going through a drive through like McDonald's, right? Like, uh, it'll be 554 at the next window, right? So I'm thinking, okay, we're at the next window. Here's the guy. He's giving us our food. And I'm like acknowledging the guy. Hey, thanks for the... She's ripping it out of the tango. Uh-huh. And I'm waving out the window. Thanks. But you know, have a good day. And, and uh, so I'm doing a lot of this motion. I don't know if that's my shoulder showing too much. I'm doing that a lot. Um, it's one where we're different. Oh, and one other um, last one on this topic of the difference in personalities is um, how you might attend to someone's facial expressions while they're speaking. So, one of my friends um, is really aware of facial expressions and how you might be feeling and empathizing with it. Maybe sometimes too much, second guessing what you're feeling and thinking it might be about him. It's like, oh, was that lick of your lips about me? Did you, you like me? You know, is that what's going on? Or, oh, was that cock of the eyebrow? You didn't, you didn't approve of what I said, you know? You might think too much about it versus, uh, so I'm kind of worried about it versus with my mom. I might be like, you know, choking, and I'm trying to just do the Heimlich, you know, while she's mid-topic, telling me, she doesn't notice it, she's still flying through her topic, and I'm, it doesn't phase her, so that's, that's one other difference. <laughs> so, uh, you could maybe stop it for a second while I look for my other notes. Okay. You guys, since 